All right, y'all, if you ain't been living under a rock for the past couple years, you've seen My Hero Academia in some way, shape, or form. Since the anime premiered in 2016, that shit has been straight heat, all gas, no breaks. Well, most of it. Yeah, I ain't forget about that snooze fest they had in parts of season four and five. <laughs> But MHA for sure made up for it with his war arcs. This man, Tomura Shigaraki, was a menace the entire time. And y'all boys gonna see why. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. So the story picking up right where we left off after the My Villain Academia arc. Tomura Shigaraki and the rest of the league just finished putting this big nose ashy looking motherfucker and his goonies in a place and formed the Paranormal Liberation Front. <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him face ass out there looking like KD. But nah, on a real note, I would have joined Shigaraki too. This man Decay Quirk is on steroids after the Deka City incident. I don't want no smoke. Like, you got it, gang. Hawks is still working undercover in the Paranormal Liberation Front, and he sent out a secret message to the Public Safety Commission implying something was going down at the hospital. The heroes got their eyes set on Dr. Garaki, an evil genius who's the manufacturer of the Nomu. So the plan is for the heroes to attack the villains at the same time on two fronts. So that first team is responsible for attacking Dr. Garaki at the hospital, while a second larger group is gonna attack what they believe to be the villains' hideout in the mountains. So the heroes on go. They got the Blitz and Jakku Hospital like World War II soldiers storming the beaches of Normandy. Excuse me, sir. Do you have time to talk about your car's extended warranty? Huh? I thought I already told you people. I don't want any of your goddamn war. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Endeavor pulled up on Dr. Grocky and this man is terrified. Got this nigga veins popping out his eyes, snot running down his nose. Shit, he looked like me if I ever ran into Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Oh, uh, got a blast. Nah, bring that ass here, boy. Hey, nah, Eraser is OD a asshole for tripping him up like this. He activated his perk and my God, this man Dr. Garaki is ugly as hell. He aged like 70 years in an instant. He looking all old and decrepit looking like he never touched a bottle of moisturizer in his life. Hey gang, I think I found your twin. You my twin. You my twin, you my treacherous little twin, you my twin. So the hero's feeling good, thinking they got the situation under control. Dr. Grocky is captured, but all of a sudden, dramatic entry! I'm on you! What? This can't be! <laughs> Don't tell me y'all goofy asses thought you was the only one with tricks up they sleeve. Stupid! And oh, this body you captured? It's a double. <laughs> oh shit! We didn't got got! <sighs> Flame breathing. First form. Aesthetic Blaze! So Mirko's still on the hunt looking for the secret lab hidden in the morgue. Swiss kick, high heavy, get stepped on, excuse me, uppercut, fidget spinner slash, you're done. She is fucking these boys up with nothing but kicks, and Lord have mercy, she could crush me with her thighs any day of the week. Huh? Uh, too far? Uh, that was out of pocket? <clears throat> so, anyways, even more Nomu appear, and the heroes got their hands full. So you're thinking, if that was just a clone of the doctor, and this facility is supposed to be important, then where he at? And y'all, I promise you, he ain't been slacking. Like, this man been Chef Curry in the lab the way he been cooking. So do y'all boys remember the two super no moves All Might and Endeavor had to fight earlier in the series? Well, apparently, those were just a test run for the real thing. Dr. Garaki was in the lab like, <laughs> You know I had to double it. And created all these Nomu that are even stronger than the ones they fought before, called high ends. Hadouken! Oh shit! So this is how Obito fell, huh? Oh hey! <laughs> What's up, you bald bitch? What? Don't tell me over there scared. You thought I wouldn't find your ass nyeka? Yo, Dr. Garaki is shook. Miracle I and that boy like Rick Gross behind a 10 piece combo of Wingstop, cause she think it's about to be free eats. Gomu gomu no! Smash! Oh no! Cut back over to Endeavor Eraser and them, and they just start blitzing the fuck out these no moves. Hey, hold this for me. Ah, that burns! It burns! Eraser no jutsu. Mongekyo Sharingo. Airmail. Hey, they ain't tell you I like my no move extra crispy. Then all the heroes did the dash to back up Mirko in the lab. I'm on you! Counter! Huh? Out of my way! Hey, so Mirko ended up folding that little no move real quick, but this gave Dr. Grocky just enough time to activate something even scarier. The high ends. <laughs> 
And y'all, I kid you not, these high ends are not to be fucked around with. Just one of the upper tier Nomu was enough to bring Endeavor to his knees and even make All Might have to use over 100% of his power. And Dr. Garaki just sicked five of them on Mirko. So let me explain real quick. I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with the Predator movies, right? These high ends are basically the result of if the Predator took Trend, had a baby with Superman, and that baby did his 100 push ups, squats, and crunches like Saitama, and then went Super Saiyan, cause these little ugly motherfuckers are strong as shit. And they said they jump on every set. Forget the six paths of pain, we got the five paths of putting that ass on the t shirt. Oh my god, what happened to Bird? And if I'm being honest, not running the ones was really a whole move by the villains here, but hey, it's a battle, so I get it. They had Mirko out there like, I got jumped in LA by some pussy ass niggas, and they jumped me, nigga. Nobody gave me the faith of a one on one, nigga. Nobody gave me the respect of a one on one, and I painted that nigga when he was on the ground. Mirko was not going out without a fight, though. She got tossed through these containers, and this left her all beaten and bloody. And she didn't even care, though. She just got up smiling like, that's all y'all got? This nigga is crazy. I don't know about y'all, but if I see somebody smile mid-fight after getting their shit rocked, I'm quitting. I don't care if I'm winning or not. It's obvious they don't value their own life. So what make you think they finna value mine? So Mirko gets up ready to get back in the mix and flexes on everybody. Sean Sheen missed a single leg day in her life. Super jump, I'm behind you. Hey, y'all boys, I'm gonna fuck with you, but I'm on the doctor head first, though. Get over here. Weave, I'm too fast. Can't catch me. Up. Uh, Quick evade, stop there you heathen, counter! Get that shit off me. Oh, you're trapped? Slime on your head Nickelodeon time. Can it can Luna ring? And oh my God. She left a dent in that boy head with that kick. Got him out there looking like Dylan Brooks. So one of the other Nomu has this quirk that's similar to the forest and turns Mirko's arm into an Arby's curly fry. I said it once, I said it twice, and I'ma say it again. She did not even care though. She was just like, oh, your shield's cracked? I'm pushing. Don't want no jutsu, Luna fall! Then she was immediately on the next dude neck. Got to rotate like a fidget spinner and puts him into a headlock with her legs. Ah! It should have been me, not him! It's not fair! Yeah, I'm not jealous at all, but she ended up ripping off his head by basically RKOing him. At the same time this is happening, the other group of heroes started their raid on the mountain village base. Cementos bust out this over the top attack and split the front wall in two like he was Moses. But this still an issue cause one of the vice commanders of the villains has this wide ranging electric quirk that could immobilize the heroes in an instant. But Kaminari got inspired by good old POTP and was able to negate the attack by absorbing it. With him handling that, Edshot was able to take out like 10 villains at once. Preemptive binding? A hey, quick side note, but maybe I'm tripping. In all the screen time Kamui Woods has gotten in My Hero so far, has he ever used another move? Like, I swear that lacquered chain prison is his go to signature. He be spamming that shit worse than LeBron with them look down three pointers or Ice Spice with the bent over twerking coochie grab. Hey, I can't hate though. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we cut over to see twice, and this man hawks his own demon time. H hawks, why? I, I, I thought you were my friend. <laughs> You really thought I would actually be friends with a bitch ass nigga like you? You thought you was gang? <laughs> I could never be cool with somebody wearing that yee ass outfit. And the fact that you crushing on a minor? Nigga, you creepy. <laughs> So Hawks has like a hundred of his feathers pointed at twice and each one of those is sharper than a katana. Twice is pissed cause he thought he was cool with Hawks and starts doubling himself like crazy. But Hawks is at his neck like a lumberjack and is cutting down the doubles as fast as he can make them. <sighs> Feather breathing, first form. Bitch ass nigga slash! Any last words? Uh, yeah. Look behind you. Sneak attack! Ah! Dobby storms in, knocking Hawks back, and stomps on this nigga face like Draymond Green did Sabonis. And Dobby's quirk is probably the worst matchup Hawks could have asked for, cause fire is basically this man's kryptonite. Just with that attack alone, Dobby burned off more than half this man's feathers. Hey, you looking a little crispy there, my nigga. <laughs> oh, is that so? <laughs> didn't notice yeah and i think all you need is one more good blast and you'll be ready to serve as the kfc 10 piece family meal twice now so twice uses another double to hold down hawks and dobby sets off another blast at him twice hitting a digital dash towards the exit but little did he know hawks dodged the fire and he has him right where he wants him. now let me show you my true power oh shit and let's just say it didn't end too well for twice but Dobby's still in the mix and he keeps attacking Hawks with fire, burning off more and more of his wings. And on top of that, he somehow knows Hawks' real identity and this has him even more terrified than he already is. But hey, yo, pause. Can we take a second to talk about why this man Dobby has Hawks in that position? Like he borderline has him in a collapsed doggy, all whispering in his ear and shit. Like, look at this angle. Hawks is looking back at him too. I mean, I'm not gonna show what that position actually looked like cause I like having a channel to post videos on, but if you still curious, all I'm saying is it's one 
doing a quick little Google search away. So go crazy. Hey, quick side note for the boys. Just to make sure you got an incognito tab open. So we cut back over to the raid on the hospital and the heroes are having trouble getting a miracle because this fat ass normal is blocking away. And even though they topping through it, it's super regeneration is keeping it from going down. So Aizawa uses the erasure on it. <sighs> Abusive father breathing second form domestic violence and mirko still back in the lab boxing with the remaining high ends high heavy weave perfect parry quick evade y'all niggas can't guard me hand down man down i missed even though mirko is out there absolutely hooping during this fight she realizes that for some reason she can't land any hits and this is because the high ends have begun to fully awaken so they're getting stronger and faster as a result so mirko was just like fuck that strategic retreat hey where you going don't be pussy come back and fight us cuh nah g i'm straight my beef with the doctor and shigaraki deuces but the high ends was just like you thought she was finna go somewhere shorty nah we ain't done yet so two of the no moves just end up grabbing her one has her by the hair and the other one has her by her leg just straight clawing into her flesh so if you like me or any other normal person you get captured like this i don't know about y'all but i'm giving up yeah okay maybe i'm scary i don't got that dog in me blah 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 i don't care i'm waving that white flag but what the high ends didn't account for is that mirko is different instead of giving up she pulls away so hard that both her hair and a chunk of flesh from her leg gets ripped off like y'all her calf is non-existent it looked like somebody took a bite out that mother Fucker, like they was eating some chicken so she ended up making it to the doctor in shigaraki and is about to break the pod he's in but gets stabbed again by this long head high end i know that shit hurt at this point her adrenaline through the roof it's like she ain't feeling no pain before this mission she must have got injected with the most illegal steroids known to man like they did pat mahomes ankle during the super bowl endeavor was finally able to pull up and straight beat the doonies off this nigga while turning on the afterburners hit him with a smooth 200 pump and sent him back to the lobby so mirko rips off even more of her flesh to get free again my magic is never giving up cotton kill to Luna Arc! The pod ends up breaking after a few hits and the console explodes leaving Dr. Grocky panicking like a motherfucker. Mirko gets thrown back into Endeavor and they both go tumbling. Hey, real quick, let's all press F to pay respects to Mirko cause she was putting up 2018 Braun playoff numbers during this mission but the ass beating she was taking was insane. She went through all that pain and still had to go through more when Endeavor had to cauterize her wounds to stop the bleeding. And Mirko up there for sure. I'ma give her four good noodle stars for this performance. Good job, gangy. But she wasn't able to fully destroy the pods with her kick, so the doctor is still trying to work on activating Shigaraki. President Mike and the x were sent in as backup after Mirko was out the fight, and Mike sends off this scream attack that shatters the pod, causing a lifeless Shigaraki to tumble to the ground. As soon as he did that and saw Shigaraki hit the floor, Mike turned his attention to the doctor and bitch slapped the fuck out that nigga. Me personally? I'm not taking that level of disrespect. I'm just saying, I'm going to have to get my lick back. And okay, y'all, let's pause real quick. So apparently this is the point in the show where we decide to let any and all logic just go straight out the window. President Mike takes the doctor away and decides to leave Shigaraki, the main villain of the entire show, with x -less. A hero I'm pretty sure we ain't never seen in the show until now. And if I'm being honest, I really don't even know what this nigga do. Hold on, let me look this up real quick. x My Hero Academia, Quirk Laser, scar on the left side of his face, blue bodysuit with the light upper half, darker bottom. Okay, yeah, I didn't seen all I need to see. This nigga suck. Just look at how short his fandom bio is. So x is just sitting there with Shigaraki's lifeless body, and all of a sudden, one of the severed cables from the pod electrocutes the liquid he's laying in, finally awakening him. The rest of the heroes are still fighting the high ends and they kinda at a stalemate. Eraser can't release his quirk hold on him and neither side can do anything to progress the fight. And on top of that, Endeavor has his hands full protecting Mirko and fending off this high end without erased quirks. So Gran Torino swoops in like, could I be kicked? And good thing for Endeavor and them, he brought backup. So we cut back over to these two and just look at x sitting there frozen in fear. Just by the look on his face, you can tell he thinking one thing. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, no. no. This can't be. There's no way. And Shigaraki's first thought when he woke up was, <sighs> I'm cold. So he looks over to x and basically was like, what's up, fuck nigga? That cape you got on look toasty. Run it. <laughs> he ain't even had a chance to fight back. Shigaraki just grabbed him by the face while his laser was active, disintegrates him, and debos his cape. Seriously? Oh my god, this man woke up and chose violence, was on demon time immediately. Back to Hawks, he about three seconds away from being turned into a Popeye's chicken sandwich by Dobby, but Tokoyami swoops in and blocks the attack. He ain't come soon enough though, cause Dobby had already blew this man back out. Oz! 
What? His wings were completely incinerated. There's nothing but nubs just sitting there right now. They end up escaping Dobby, but this sense of relief quickly gets overshadowed because Zygentomaki is active and Deku's spidey senses are tingling, letting him know that something terrifying just woke up. The first wielder of One for All is literally screaming at this nigga Deku to go stop him. Hey, imagine you a villain and you so cold that the dead apps gotta warn they boys of your presence. That's insanity. This nigga gotta be a god tier menace to society. And it's crazy because the scene looked like it's straight out of a horror film. The animators must have been shook while making this too because look at all these still frames so the heroes was just like oh no after that first explosion and they just got to doing the dash because little did they know they signed up to play the world's most dangerous game where the floor is lava and when i tell you everything is gone i mean everything the city is in shambles and it's only gonna get worse to me Machia. The raid is still going on at the mountain villa and Toga is pissed. She said she was finna spin the block for twice and up the score. She's fully lost it. She murked this one no-name hero, drank his blood to morph into him, and she got to catch him more bodies than the OnlyFans thought. Just look at this nasty ass, ugly ass face she making. Ugh. Nah, you got it. I'm definitely staying out so way. Then Makia busted from underground and started making a beeline towards Shigaraki. Endeavor wasn't trying to play no games though. He instantly flew over to where he was in the city and bathed this nigga Shigaraki in flames he ate that shit and bolted right at endeavor like give me that neck boy he said oh, dodge and pile drive shigaraki right into the ground with another attack and he turned on the afterburners too because he recognized that now with his upgrades shigaraki can now heal like the high ends do deku hears this over the intercom and is shaking in his shoes he like oh shit he after me? Then Shigaraki show he got more bunnies than John Morant and super jumps into the next stratosphere towards Deku. This she got me higher than John Morant. It's a lot of civilians where Deku at and he realizes that if he doesn't get away from him, Shigaraki finna turn him into dust like Thanos. Him and Baku go take off and Deku out there looking like Spidey swinging through the city. Shigaraki senses this and begins to change course with Endeavor hot on his trail. He peeped that Endeavor and the rest of the heroes are using earpieces to communicate and he was like, yeah, the little motherfuckers getting annoying so... They gotta go. And if you thought the initial attack he set off when he woke up from the hospital was bad, Shigaraki said, hold my beer and was like, you wanna see me do it again? And Lord have mercy, when I tell you this man did not come to play no games, I'm so serious. So he sets off this EMP like radio wave attack that fries all of the heroes comms. Then pull up on Deku and Bakugo like, surprise motherfucker. And Deku is inches away from death till Gran Torino swoops in like Captain Savaho to get him out the way at the last second. He had pulled up with some of the other pro heroes too and they getting ready to put the beats on Shigaraki but he ain't even phased in the slightest like the number one hero is right there in his face and he's just sitting there smiling he was like uh-uh nah what is this y'all thought y'all was finna jump me <laughs> nah i got something for that ass and he even got Gran Torino shook off this. Just look at him. Not gonna lie, I'd react just like this. Would be shitting myself, knees shaking and all. Like, ugh. Just look at these little ugly motherfuckers, man. Like, they're terrifying. They got their brains hanging all out of their head, looking like the demigorgons off Stranger Things. So the other heroes got their hands full dealing with these Nomu. And Shigaraki is still mid-air playing with his food because Endeavor cannot land a solid hit to save his life. So he decides to pull out Old Reliable and try another Hell Spider. <laughs> This thing is trash. And he misses again. So Shigaraki just boosts him into Ryukyu. And hey, these little black boots Shigaraki got on gotta represent black forces because this man is on straight young boy timing. He decided it's time to get disrespectful in this motherfucker. So while he got them two on the ground, Shigaraki just stands on Endeavor's stomach and says, Ouch, that stung. <laughs> You would think Endeavor is a side character or something cause Shigaraki is not taking him seriously at all. He just know he OP. He just using Endeavor as a floor mat right now and to add insult to injury, he was just like, oh, you're still alive down there? My bad. I probably should have checked after I beat you, you trash ass nigga. But hey, is this the arm you held up that day? And he throws up the same pose Endeavor used after him and Hawks barely beat that high end in Kyushu. So not only is he playing around with Endeavor like he nothing, but he stepped on him, started talking shit, all while throwing up his set. Oh my God, this man wanted all smoke with the ops. Yup, I didn't see enough. Time out, flag on the play. I'm officially certifying this nigga Shigaraki is disrespectful. <coughs> After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, disrespecting another nigga set. Shigaraki, 15 yards from the spot of the foul, 
first down. And y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I genuinely feel bad for Endeavor, cause he's supposed to be the new number one hero, and this ain't even the worst part of it yet. The My Hero writers really playing with his top. Like his first couple missions as the number one hero were really Avenger level threats set to Hall of Fame difficulty. This got Endeavor pissed. He shoots off this fire attack and was like, back your ass up! And at this point, Shigaraki is tired of not being able to use his quirks because of Eraser, so he just ditches Endeavor and makes a beeline towards him. But he ain't even get a chance to reach him cause Deku swoops in and wraps him up with Black Whip. Bakugo was right behind him, and them boys should be working in fast food the way they were serving up them combos. <sighs> Aren't those fireworks adorable? <laughs> <laughs> Shigaraki still ain't taking this fight serious, bruh. Then Endeavor comes in and knocks him across the battlefield with his punch, but he's still locked in on Deku because he wants to steal one for all. So they decide to use Deku as bait and set up Shigaraki while Endeavor is flying through the air. Back to Gigantomachia, he scoops up all the main members of the league and heads to the battlefield to link with Shigaraki. And Gigantomachia running goofy as hell, thirsty as fuck for him. The way he running probably the same way DJ Khaled be running to the buffet for his next plate. Mount Lady tries to stop him, but he just ran over her ass. And she's supposed to be a pro hero. It's kind of like how Derrick Henry be making these NFL players look like regular 9 to 5 workers when they try to tackle. Him. But Makia gets tired of this so quick, so he just grabs her legs and tosses yeah. her like a rag doll. Midnight tries to step in, but ends up getting hit by Compress. The impact of the fall left her critically injured, so she told Momo to create sedatives to put Giganto Makia to sleep. Oh my God, what happened to her? So the students are working on creating a trap for Makia, and he do to show up any second. They end up tripping him up and getting his mouth open for the sedatives, but this nigga channeled his inner pain and said, Shinda Tensei, and pushed them all away. Dobby lets off this blast that starts burning up the forest, and Makia starts to get back up. And Momo just sitting there looking at him like, Is this nigga serious? So Mount Lady jumps on top of him and is trying to wrestle his mouth open. Ah! It should have been me! Then Ashido comes through with the violet sedatives in her hand, but this ain't the best move, because when Makia sees her, he cocks back ready to hit her with the meanest pimp slap of all time. She about two seconds away from being turned into a squash bug on the pavement, but Kirishima steps in at the last second. He ended up getting some of the sedatives in his mouth, but the heroes ain't know Bantan let Makia borrow the Omni Tricks, cause he just turned into the ultimate humongousaur, and there's nothing they can do to slow him down. Back in the city, this man Shigaraki is still on timing, and he jumps to attack, but he gets his back blown out by Gran Torino. <laughs> what did you say, nigga? Uh, how I even want to say this then? Gets his back kicked in? gets kicked in the back. You know what? Uh, y'all y'all see what happened. It don't matter. But Shigaraki countered and yeah, this nigga turned Gran Torino insides into pudding. So Deku just grabbed him by the throat and started playing whack-a-mole with his head, but Shigaraki ain't even feel it. He was more worried about trying to use the quirk deleter on Aizawa. He sends it flying and it hits Eraser right in the leg, so it's looking like this man quirk is gone, finna enter the phantom zone, never to be seen again. But instead of losing his quirk, this man Aizawa takes out a pocket knife and slices the bottom half of his leg clean off. Stop the cap. <laughs> Oh, no, yep, mm -mm. I'm definitely calling cap on this, cause ain't no way that little tiny knife will be enough to make one clean cut through flesh and bone. But hey, I must say, Eraser do got that dog in him, cause a nigga like me? Quirk would've just been gone, I value walking too much. So Shigaraki saw him do this and was like, bitch, I know the fuck you didn't. So he overpowers Deku and Ryukyu to go attack him and starts clawing away the Eraser's face before getting pulled back. And this is bad, cause with Aizawa out the fight, Shigaraki should have all his quirks back. His regeneration still wasn't working, but he was gonna use Decay to finish everybody off until... One for all, the seventh user's quirk, float! Deku was just like, alright, so what if you got Decay? How you gonna use it if you ain't got nothing to touch? So I'ma just beat your ass midair. So Deku just start putting the beats on this man using one for all at 100%. This ain't without repercussions. His arms are getting messed up so bad with every punch. Them boys on the ground realize Deku gonna need help soon, so they set up this combo move with Endeavor to trap him in a full scale prominence burn. And this ended up working. They got Shigaraki out there looking extra crispy. This nigga is fried. Can't even tell that's the same person, and I'm not even sure how he's not dead at this point. All for one takes over his body and sends out these sharp blades meant for Deku, but. <laughs> So boom, Bakugo gets stabbed in like 8 different places and is on the verge of meeting the Sir Nightite in My Hero Heaven. And this shit got Deku activated. Y'all remember back in Dragon Ball Super when Vegeta got so pissed at Beerus for hitting Boma that he charged in knowing he was finna fight somebody that was completely OP? Yeah. This the same energy. Deku on that same type of timing right now. Just look at his face. He got to biting through shit like a badass little kid and got flames coming out of his eye sockets. Wait, pause right here. Shigaraki can't believe it either. He looking in shock like, but what the hell, boy? He tries stealing one for all again, but his body isn't strong enough to take the power yet. Todoroki catches him midair while they're falling, but nobody's in good shape for real, and Shigaraki just turned into Doc Ock with all these razor claws. Even though Endeavor's attack left this nigga looking like a burnt Popeye's biscuit. Time out. When did he get a Sharingan? 
Some of the other pro heroes came as backup to fight Shigaraki, but this ain't even matter because Giganto Makia big ass came barreling to the battlefield less than a minute later. And this is when Dobby decides to take center stage and host his own version of the Mori show. So he poured bleach on his head to reveal that his true hair color was white, and the next part went a little something like this. <coughs> Endeavor. In the case of the 24 year old villainous delinquent Dobby, you are the father! After six seasons, it's finally revealed that Dobby is actually Toya Todoroki, the oldest son of the Todoroki family who was thought to be dead because of a forest fire when he was younger. As expected, Endeavor is just standing there looking shook, and Todoroki is too, because they both thought this nigga was six feet deep. But if I'm being honest, this wasn't really a surprise to anybody watching the show because of how obvious it was. It was probably one of my hero's worst kept secrets, but hey, I'm always for a nice little plot twist. After the reveal, Dobby was just like, nigga, you thought I was finna pop up and be done? <laughs> no. Now I'ma let the entire world know that you a deadbeat father, trash, and you don't even care about your family. So before they even pulled up, Dobby had Skeptic hack all the satellite broadcasts in Japan to send this message to everybody. <clears throat> yep. yep, is this thing on? Ladies and gentlemen, sorry to interrupt, but my name is Toya Todoroki, member of the League of Villains and the firstborn son of Japan's new number one hero, Endeavor. And I came here today to tell you guys one thing. That nigga is a deadbeat father, a woman beater, and a dick rider the way he was insecure and obsessed with passing All Might. Like he might as well be doing tricks on that motherfucker the way he be riding it. He couldn't even protect his own family. And you expect him to protect Japan? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Well, I said my piece. Have fun with your life, I just ruined Endeavor. All this was too much for Endeavor to handle. Dobby got him frozen in place, hyperventilating and shit. Y'all, and it's so bad that Shoto actually called this man dad for the first time in the series. Not only that, Dobby was also finna steal Endeavor's ultimate move and hit him with a flash fire fist, prominence burn. Hey, nah, this is the second person to play with Endeavor's top like that. First Shigaraki threw up his set and now Dobby is taking his signature move? <laughs> What's next, a supervillain finna snatch his wife? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. At this point, the League of Villains is certified fresh with a 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes for the amount of disrespect they've been doling out this season. Them boys really devious. But out of nowhere, Best Genius came into the mix and tied up Dobby before he can land his attack. Shigaraki finally wakes up and gives Makia the order to destroy everything, and Best Genius is fighting for his life trying to hold him down. He holds him back like he was a badass little kid trying to get into something he know he shouldn't be playing in. Then we got some more Nomu headed straight for Best Genius ready to murk him, and if he gets got, Makia gonna be on the loose again. But y'all, time out real Real quick because i was not ready for this the first time i seen it and i'm pretty sure y'all wasn't either because we finna witness the return of one of the most universally loved anime characters well at least in my hero and i don't even know how many last second saves we've gotten so far this season but this one was for show my favorite y'all the boy is back mirio togata aka la million and he looking like he ain't lost a beat he hit these normal with a four-piece mcnugget and sent him flying makia activated he leveled up and started breaking out of his restraint so endeavor used the last of his strength to hit him with that sweet chin music and it looks like that was enough to finally get the sedative to kick in so with makia out cold the league tries one last ditch effort to try to escape spinner puts one of shigaraki's hands on his face and i don't know how but this allows all for one to take control of his body again all for one summoned hella no more on the scene to keep the heroes busy and them boys skedaddled out of there but the damage had already been done both sides were beat up bad and this fight is far from over round two is inevitable hey y'all this battle was insane shigaraki was on demon time from the second he woke up and the crazy thing is we only halfway through i'm definitely gonna be dropping a video for the second half of season six covering vigilante deku in the aftermath of everything in the meantime make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll work on getting that second part out as soon as i can the videos i'll be doing like this take forever and i think the script for this one was well over 20 pages but hey gotta do what you gotta do right in the meantime i'm gonna be dropping more content in the form of short videos and skits so stay tuned for that as well and make sure to follow me on all my other socials they'll be all linked down below in the description so um yeah i'll see y'all next time and be smooth